In this video, I'll show you how to add a contact to WhatsApp on your iPhone. So I'm going to be showing you two different methods to go and do this. The first method is just by heading over to your phone's home screen. You can then go and open up your phone book. Go and click on the plus icon in the top right hand side. Go and type in the name of the person that you want to add. And then just go and type in the mobile number of the person you want to add on WhatsApp. Now make sure you're using the correct international country code as well. And once you've added this, we can press done in the top right hand side. Now what you can do is open up the WhatsApp application. Click on the plus icon in the top right hand side. And now you can just use the search box to go and search for that contact that we just added. It. Now, if that person is on WhatsApp, you'll be able to select them from the list and you can go and start a conversation with them directly. Now, if this person's not on WhatsApp, if they've not signed up for WhatsApp, then you'll see this invite button instead. And all this basically means is this person does not have a WhatsApp account. Now, you could also add people directly in the WhatsApp app as well. So if you only want to add a contact to WhatsApp instead of adding it to both your phone and also WhatsApp, what you could do is click on the plus icon in the top right hand side, click on new contact. Once again, just go and type in the name of the contact that you want to add. Click on the country and from here, go and select the country of the contact you're trying to add. And this will go and automatically add the international prefix at the start of the phone number. You can then go and type in the phone number like so. Decide whether you want to also add this contact to your iPhone. I'm going to disable this and then press done. So once you've added your contact, you can simply click the contact from the list below and you'll be able to start a conversation with this particular contact. Let me know in the comments if you did find this video helpful and I'll see you with the next one.